and as for more earthquakes, we're in significant aftershock territory in Central and South America and across near the Solomon Islands. Good morning, folks. Focus on the Solomon Islands was correct. Remember when we took two large earthquakes two days ago in Papua New Guinea and we said the second one wasn't an aftershock? Well, even with the downgraded magnitude, that looks dead on the money. Per last night's upload, the downgrade from 8.3 with most humans reading 7.8 magnitude or higher is a bit baffling on last night's quake. We left off last night expecting a tiny tsunami but no real concern. Indeed, warnings were cancelled as a 0.1 foot surge was sent out in all directions and was only really noticeable to the computer monitors. We'll also confirm the data error we considered last night. It is indeed one of those same anomalous readings that can't possibly match reality because we'd notice a 200 foot wave. Just happened to occur at the same time as the quake. Anyway, west coast of the Americas had no larger shaking, but yet another volcano goes on alert. It's Fuego. This makes number four between Mexico and Chile. Take a look at that storm we showed yesterday at eastern South America. The convergence tail swinging back north, the light blue moisture line flooded parts of Uruguay and will continue drenching coastlines as she goes. Cyclone still dissipating but still a significant flood concern at the coastline. Meanwhile, another low is between nations heading for New Zealand now. Something interesting here, while Northern Europe takes that line again, look just off the west coast of Northern Africa, there is an inter-system intrusion the likes of which I haven't seen since university. Look at how disruptive those southern winds are to the west to east flow that you see. At the cloud tops, the 700 layer, a sturdy low is planted and swinging that central Atlantic air northward, but the real story is found at the jet stream. Those microflows are not what you usually see at that level. I'm fairly intrigued at where Guy is going with this. We'll keep an eye here today. Meanwhile, the severe warnings are already flying out of NOAA for the U.S. today. This convergence is bringing together a clash of meteorological cultures. They get along about as well as opposing human cultures do when they've met across the world throughout history. Severe warnings and a major snowstorm on its heels. Take a look at the solar flaring. The sunspots are completely leaving us hanging. The northern spots have produced nothing and decayed significantly since appearing on the Earth-facing disk. The equatorial group is the biggest disappointment. Southern group is a bit more complex, has a recent history of violence, but has sat quietly since entering our visibility. The real complex portion appearing to be south of the trailing positive umbral core. None are polar radiation concerns as all the inner planets are either on our departing limb or already on the backside like Mercury and Gray. Coronal hole down south likely had its last hurrah last night, combining with the magnetic storm of the morning and Mars opposition for a shake to end that uptick. Already we see the next coronal hole coming in from the left, green, positive charge. He's tough to see with some plasma blocking the way caught in that bright complex of fields. But the darkness behind and around is indeed the next coronal hole that's coming in now. The ones that just faced Earth and ramped our quake watch sent solar wind streams our way, and we expect them to impact Earth today. In fact, we could be taking those density waves, which act just like interplanetary shocks from a CME, right now. If density falls off, followed by a ramp up in the yellow speed, then we'll know for sure it's the coronal hole stream. With us already unstable geomagnetically, I expect more storm levels if that is indeed the shockwave. Last note, if you donated to the Kickstarter campaign, the email you used there has a survey asking what name you want on the RV. If you did PayPal, I've either got your name already or I've asked you for it. Shots of our star to close, eyes open. No fear, at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.